Hi, I'm Alison Pilling and this is your spirit guide message for the new moon coming up on November 1st, 2024. And it's from my spirit guide. His name's Hector the Great Horned Owl. And I share messages from Hector weekly, monthly for the full and new moons. And specifically for the moon phases, um, I ask him, what are the three things to know? <laughs> so that's what Hector shares with us. Uh, this time, uh, the way I channel Hector is I actually do it with journaling. So if you see me looking at a piece of paper, that's why. And he was actually quite chatty this time. So it's a little longer than usual. So let's get right to it. Okay, so these are the three things to know for the upcoming new moon on November 1st, 2024 from my spirit guide, Hector the Great Horned Owl. So as I call Hector into my awareness, Hector is soaring with his wings spread wide. He is gliding with ease towards us. He lands gentle and looks up towards us, then up to the sky and then back to us. So Hector shares, this new moon is a gift. It's the beginning of all the things that have been considered, worked on, and now being realized. Though dark in this moment, this moon will shed light on what transformation has been happening. Set into the shift, even if fear lingers. There won't be disappointment for what's to come. The three things to know for this new moon on November 1st are, number one, light is in the eye of the beholder. Shine your light and it will attract those who are meant to see it. Those who seem unaffected or dismiss our light are not the ones it's meant for. Know that there are people out there searching for the warmth of your light. Think of a dark sea with a visible light from a lighthouse in a dark stormy night. It symbolizes hope. Okay, number two is to shine your light, you must recharge your battery. It's important to tune in daily to what is needed to feel your best. Your light shines the brightest when you feel good. Don't neglect yourself. It's not about sacrificing. It's about nurturing growth for all. Check in with what's being focused on. Okay. And number three, the third one. It's never too late to say sorry. Is there someone or even yourself who deserves an apology? Maybe it's not a formal apology, but some words of appreciation and gratitude, acknowledgement of possible neglect or dismissal of how difficult things have been over the last few weeks or months. Again, this may be directed to yourself. However, it feels like someone external to you does need a little attention and appreciation for hanging in, sticking by, just being that glue that has kept things together. Take a moment and see who pops into your mind, then create a small gesture of gratitude acknowledgement, and possibly an apology for blowing by their acts at the time of distress. These acts did not go unnoticed, so take the time to share the appreciation outwardly with words or a gesture. As you can see, this new moon is a biggie, so ease in and know you are ready for what lies ahead. Much love, Hector. Okay, so 
Those are the three things Hector wanted us to know for this upcoming full moon on November 1st, 2024. And yeah, like I said, this is pretty long for Hector. <laughs> Usually our videos are two to three minutes and uh, I guess he had a lot to share for this upcoming new moon. So yeah, uh, I wish you all the best. And as I said, uh, Hector, I share messages from him weekly, monthly, and on the full and new moon. So you can hit subscribe if you want to continue to be notified when his messages are shared. Um, also, I just want to let you know that if you are curious or want to work on your own channeling skills, your own intuition skills, in accessing different sources of energetic wisdom, my mentor, teacher, Lori Wilson, and her spirit guide grandmother are having a beautiful offer until the end of this year for, uh, I think it's about 25 hour online course. It's for free, it's a free offer. It's regular 249 US dollars. And yeah, I'll put the link in the description, but you're highly encouraged to check that out. It's a beautiful community and a very straightforward teaching. If you've ever had any confusion or fears around learning how to use your own intuitive skills and how to build and develop them with confidence. So yeah, that's a gift for you if you'd like to check it out. And yeah, if you have any questions or want to get in touch with me, leave a comment or send me a message. Okay, take care.